Now that you have your WA-23 Luna out of the box, let's take a quick inventory of all the items included. You have a pair of six C45 driver tubes, one 5U3C or equivalent, which can be a 5U4G or a 274B rectifier tube. A pair of 2A3 power tubes. Now we have electro harmonics here, but yours may be a different brand depending on the availability of these tubes. Next we have the custom umbilical cord for the power supply unit. And then we have the power supply unit. And last, the WA-23 Luna headphone amplifier and preamplifier. Now that you have all the tubes out of the box, quickly take a look at each of the tubes to make sure that there are no shipping damage. Ensure that the glass is not cracked and the tube pins are not bent. The small tubes are the driver tubes. The big tube is the rectifier tube. Again, inspect the glass, make sure there are no cracks and the pins are not broken. These are your power tubes. On the power tubes, you will notice that there are two pins that are smaller in diameter than the bottom two pins. As you can see here. It is important that these pins are aligned correctly in the tube socket. And we'll look at that in a few moments. We recommend to install the rectifier tube first. Pay close attention to the guide pin on the tube socket and also the guide pin on the tube itself. The guide pin must line up to the guide pin on the tube socket. And you want to gently press down. Next, we recommend to install the driver tubes. You also notice that the pins are very different. There are nine pins on the tube, and there are also nine pins on the tube socket. Make sure that the empty slot lines up with the empty slot on the tube socket. You want to pay close attention to the where the pins are. And then once it's aligned, gently press down. The same for the other driver tube. Pay close attention where the opening is and align it with the opening on the tube socket. Now these pins are very narrow. You want to pay close attention to it. Make sure they are aligned with the tube socket first before you apply any pressure. Next, we'll install the power tube. Again, the power tube, there are two pins that are in smaller in diameter than the two larger pins. Pay close attention to, to that. And the smaller pins goes towards you. Again, two of the pins are smaller in diameter than the two bottom pins. Align it with the tube socket and then gently press down. Once they are completely seated, you can see that there is very little gap between the tube base and the amplifier itself. And when you wiggle the top of the tube, there should not be a lot of movements. Lastly, we have the umbilical cord. Pay close attention to the umbilical cord's collar. This is the connector here. There's a red dot on the connector itself. And this is actually a collar, a sleeve, that has a spring-loaded action. On the opposite side, it has the same connector, also spring-loaded. On the back of the power supply unit, there is also a red dot on the connector itself. Carefully align the red dot on the umbilical cord connector with the red dot on the power supply unit. And 
press. When you want to remove the umbilical cord, simply place your hand on the power supply unit to hold it down. Use one hand to release the collar by sliding it back and pull. This collar must be released in order for the lock to release. Let's, let's look at this again. On the amplifier side for the umbilical cord, this is the same process. Align the red dot from the connector with the red dot on the amplifier. And when you want to remove the umbilical cord, use one hand to pull back the locking collar and then gently pull the cable back. Now that you have your WH-23 Luna set up, take a look at our other video which shows the features and overview of this amplifier.